how's my tech-savvy niece doing? She's doing great, but what's with the tech-savvy part? Are you having issues with your PC again? I could come over and have a look at it after my acting class if you like. Oh, no, that's not it. I was just wondering if you'd heard of something called uh, Bitcoin? You too, Auntie? Who put you up to this? Please don't bother. I'm not interested in investing in it. Investing? Oh, no. I just wanted to buy some so I could send them to someone who's very precious to me. I've been trying to send it all morning, but the website seems to be down. Could you help me fix it? Sorry, I, I don't understand. Who are you planning on sending it to? Do you promise you won't judge me? Sure. Well, as long as it's not anything illegal. It's definitely not illegal. I wanted to send the money to my boyfriend. Did you start dating again? How long have you been seeing this man? Three years, and I haven't exactly been seeing him. I beg your pardon? I haven't been seeing him as in I have yet to meet him in person. We've been talking online. That's why I need to send him money. He'll buy a plane ticket and we'll finally be able to meet in person. Have you sent him money before? Well, I helped him pay off his bills a few times. He lost his job and I had all this money laying around. It seemed like the right thing to do. But, you know, these last few years have been difficult for everyone. I'm sure he'll get back on his feet in no time. How much have you sent him so far? Oh, about 42000 What? Why? I told you he lost his job, he lost his insurance. I wasn't just going to stand by and watch him die. What do you mean? He got into a car accident not too long ago. He sent me pictures from the hospital. It was awful. I was so worried I couldn't sleep for days. Okay, sorry, I'm going to need you to start from the beginning. Who is this man? Where did you meet him? He sent me a friend request on Facebook. He looked handsome and said he was an engineer. We started talking casually and gradually fell for one another. Can you send me his picture? I know he looks young, but he's 55. 55? That man doesn't look a day over 30. Not everyone ages the same way, Clara. As you can see, he works out a lot. That's probably why he looks so much younger. Have you seen him on camera? Did he give you his phone number? Well, he hasn't given me his number since he uses his work phone, but I've seen him on camera. We video chat all the time on Facebook. Does he have other social media accounts? No, this is the only one he uses. And you don't find any of this suspicious? Why should I? I told you I've seen him on camera. He doesn't even have an accent. He's definitely from the U.S. He said he used to live near my old neighborhood and reached out because he noticed my picture in our neighborhood group. I guess I forgot to leave the group when I moved. I'm so confused. Is he in the U.S. or is he out of the country? You said he was going to book plane tickets. Well, he was visiting his relatives in San Marino, but someone stole all his cash so he can't return to the country. I don't even know what to say. He's clearly up to no good. Please don't send him any more money. Perhaps we can find a way to get the money you've sent him back as well. Ugh, I'm not too sure if that's possible with Bitcoin, though. How did you even buy cryptocurrency? Well, he sent me a video with the detailed instructions. I'm not going to stop sending money to the man I'm in love with. I know you're concerned for my well-being, but I know for a fact he's not a scammer. But none of this makes sense. Why? Because I'm slightly older than him? Is that what it is? You don't think a younger man could fall for me? First of all, there's no way that guy's 55. And secondly, this is not about the age gap. I'm sure you could find people in their 20s who date people your age. The problem is that this guy keeps asking you for money. Even if he was 55, even if he was the person in his photos, he'd still have been exploiting you. I'm helping him voluntarily. He needed that money to live. Nobody's forcing me to do anything. He was right. I should have just kept quiet. I should have just called tech support. He told you to keep the relationship secret? Yes, because he knew my family would never be able to understand our love. He must have been trying to make you even more vulnerable by having you distance yourself from your support network. You don't know what he's like, Clara. He adores me. He showers me with compliments. He makes me feel so happy. Look at this, Auntie. A simple reverse image search was all it took to find his Instagram page. This guy has a different name, and he says he's a 26-year-old surfer. Well, maybe it's his old account, and a lot of people use nicknames or some other made-up names on social media. If he really was 55, he wouldn't have had an Instagram account when he was 26. Besides, the last photo was posted three hours ago. So, 
What you're saying is that he lied about his age? That's not the only thing. Look at the background of his images. Don't you recognize the buildings? He hasn't left the country. He hasn't even left the neighborhood you used to live in. He could just be posting older pictures. How about this? He's on several dating websites. Uh, those people must have stolen his picture off of Facebook. He's so good looking, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Isn't it more likely that whoever is texting you on Facebook stole this guy's pictures? No, he has over 400 friends and I saw him on a video call. There are a lot of ways people can manipulate the calls. They could have taken footage from one of his videos and replaced the audio. What if he was just embarrassed to tell me his real age and occupation for fear that I'd find him too immature and refuse to date him? He's still the same loving person I've been talking to. This doesn't change anything. He still loves me. Why have you never met up then? Before he left for San Marino, that is. He had some issues with his truck. And he was really busy at work. We made plans to meet up a few times, but they all ended up falling through. And still, you want to continue this relationship? Yes, it's fine if he's a 26-year-old surfer. He's still the man I love. And you're going to keep sending him money? Well, yes, if he has another emergency, I'll do it. Now that I know he's 26, it makes a lot more sense for me to help him out financially. What if you had proof that he wasn't who he was claiming to be? Would you leave him then? Of course, I wouldn't let some scammer take advantage of me like that. Okay, all right, give me some time to find some more evidence. In the meantime, please make up some excuse as to why you can't send him any money. Will you accept our relationship and help us meet in person if you find out he was telling the truth all along? Sure. Great. But how will we ever know if he's telling the truth or not? Do you have a plan? Okay, so finding out if he really is the guy in the pictures will be the first step. I'll drive to your place and watch the screen when he's on call. We'll record it too, just in case. I've seen a bunch of those fakes, so it should be pretty simple to confirm whether it's real or not. But I can't call him today. He's only free to talk during the weekend. All right, that's fine. We can talk to him tomorrow then. Okay. Are you free to talk, dear? I, I need your help with something. Sure, what is it? I need to come up with a way to save my aunt from getting scammed out of her life savings. I'll give you a call and explain what's going on, okay? All right. It looks authentic, doesn't it? Yes, that's definitely the guy. But why did he feel the need to lie about his age? Maybe he figured he'd appear less suspicious that way? The fact that he was being honest about his appearance doesn't really make the situation any better. He still manipulated a 65-year-old woman into giving him $42,000. I looked up his hospital pictures. I found every single one of them on Google when I searched for car crash victims. Most of them didn't show his face, but the one or two that did had been photoshopped. I can't believe there are people out there who'd stoop so low. Looking at his other social media profiles, you can tell he has a lot of disposable income. Somehow that makes his actions even worse. That's exactly what I thought. Had he been living in poverty, I'd have at least tried to understand what drove him to do this, but he's a fit, healthy 26-year-old being sponsored by luxury brands left and right. What more does he want? I guess he's the only person who knows the answer to that. Well, perhaps he'll answer that during his court hearing. Should we involve the police? Is your aunt ready to testify against him? I don't think she's ready to do it just yet. She seems really attached to him. I'm not sure if we can file the report in her place. If she insists she sent the money willingly and refuses to ask for it back, I doubt we'll be able to do anything about it. She's only reluctant because she believes he's in love with her. What if we showed her he never loved her? How'd we do that? I have an idea, but you may not like it. What is it? My aunt's first marriage ended because her husband cheated on her. She can't stand unfaithful men. If she knew for certain that he was cheating on her, she'd break things off in an instant. He only talks to her during the weekend, and he has profiles on several dating websites. I'd say he's most definitely cheating on her. I think so, too. We need to get concrete proof, though. I doubt we can hack into his accounts. What if we made a fake account and got him to meet up at some cafe? We'll drive Aunt Chelsea there and show her that he's willing to cheat on her. Once she sees it with her own eyes, she'll believe it, right? Sure, but won't he get suspicious if we use a fake account? He might. That's why we'll use real pictures. I'll get a wig and edit them until I'm unrecognizable. Are you suggesting we use you as bait? Sure, why not? Don't you think I can beguile him with my good looks? 
I'm sure you could, I just don't know if that's safe. What if he's some kind of a maniac? Well, it's not like I'll actually be meeting up with him. We'll just watch from afar, and if he doesn't take the bait, well, maybe we could hire a PI to tail him for some time. He's bound to slip up eventually. That seems a little extreme. Let's give the first plan a shot, but we'll do it during the day at a safe location and I'll go with you, just in case. All right. The only problem is I have no idea how these dating apps and websites work. I've never had an account. Have you used one before? I've seen people using them, but I've never had an account of my own either. Well, then I'll have to look up instructional videos. Aren't they basically just chat rooms? They sound pretty straightforward to me. You just text people, right? I don't want to take chances. I need to formulate a perfect plan. Can't you charm him the same way you charmed me? Well, no, that's completely different. You're a real-life dating man. These online dating men play by different rules. All right, then good luck. Thanks. I think I'm ready. Already? Yes, I've watched not one, not two, but three different dating advice for men videos and read all comments. I'm fully equipped to deal with whatever may come my way. For men? Aren't those usually aimed at men who are trying to win over women? Well, yes, but have you not heard of the golden rule? Do unto others what you would have them do to you. Who knows what men want better than men themselves? I won't be fooled by their mind games. I've cracked the code. I'm not so sure about that. From what I've heard, most of those pickup artist dating advice videos are pure nonsense. I don't think those would be of any help. But they all seem so scientific and accurate. They conduct experiments on real test groups. All their theories are field tested. These people are dating gurus. They aren't joking around. Is that so? It sounds strange to you, doesn't it? I find it a little confusing, too. Like, why do they want to have their attractiveness quantified? What's with switching between compliments and veiled insults? But if that's what they want, who am I not to respect that? I'll pretend to be his perfect match until he agrees to meet me in person. Uh-huh, I see. What exactly are you planning on doing if it's not a secret? Well, first I perfect my profile. Make sure he knows I have money by posing with my friend's Tesla. Next, a picture of me holding my neighbor's puppy to showcase my soft side. Finish it off with some old group picture to pretend that I have friends. Please send me a link to your profile once you're done. I'd love to have a look. Trust the process, Jacob. Look at this bio and tell me you wouldn't meet up with me. You're single, I'm single, let's meet up. So fun and flirty. Oh, but you aren't single, are you? How devious, he'll never know what hit him. I know, right? Even if all else fails, I should still be good. Grey Oaks 802 wrote, As long as you look attractive, you can get away with pretty much anything on those apps. Well, I'm glad you're having fun. It's not fun, it's scientific research. How about this? Let's drive to my aunt's place tomorrow. I'll excuse myself and go upstairs to text him. If he agrees to meet up, we'll drive to the cafe together. All right. Hey, want to hear a secret? What is it? You are exactly my type. Whoa, really? Yeah, well, I usually don't go for sevens, but there's something special about your abs. Do you work out? You look really fit. I do! I go to the gym five days a week, plus I surf. Cool, I live near an ocean. You should come over and surf here sometime. Yeah, sounds great. We probably live pretty close. We should take advantage of that. What's your schedule like? When can we meet up? Today works for me. How about we meet at a cafe near my beach house at 5 p.m.? Let's just have a good time. No strings attached. Okay, send me the address. Looks fancy. It's my treat. I always pay for dinner on first dates. Let me take care of it. No, I'll pay. I insist. We could split it. Listen, Alex, I'm a busy woman. I don't have all day for this back and forth. Are we doing this or not? Okay. Yes. Cool. See you at 5 p.m. sharp. He said he'd be there. Oh my god, Clara. <laughs> Don't I sound very hip and trendy? Oh, for sure. Totally. Now I just need to know where you've been hiding your beach house. I'll never tell. But in all seriousness, I'm not even sure he's going to show up. I mean, this guy knows virtually nothing about me. Is he just that brave? What if I were some deranged criminal? I guess he likes to live on the edge. We'll see. Let's get going. We should get there at least 30 minutes earlier. But you told him to be there at 5 p.m. sharp. Do you think he might defy you? 
He wouldn't dare. <laughs> but it's better to be safe than sorry. We can catch my aunt up on the details while we wait. Hopefully, that'll be enough to convince her. All right, sounds good. We're done. This is over. I know the truth. What are you saying, sweetie? Is everything okay? I know you aren't in San Marino. I saw you out and about. Actually, I arrived yesterday. I wanted to surprise you. You asked me for the ticket money this morning. I was going to return it to you after the surprise. And you've been cheating on me. I saw your dating profiles. You must have mistaken me for someone. It's clearly your picture. I, I see what this is. That's actually my twin brother. Even our parents have a hard time telling us apart. Do you think I'm an idiot? I won't fall for your lies anymore. I'm on my way to the police station. I'll do everything in my power to get that money back. You won't get away with this. What are you saying? Th that's nonsense. You know I love you. You're despicable. Whatever. Did you get home safe, Auntie? I did, thanks. I broke things off with him. Was I allowed to tell him about the police? What if he hides the money? It's fine, they already know his identity, they know where he lives, they'll do everything they can to recover the scammed Bitcoin. If everything else fails, we'll go after him ourselves and make sure he pays up. I feel like such a fool. I can't believe I let him lie to me for three years. Please, don't feel bad, he's the only one who should be ashamed. It's not your fault. Right, of course. And, hey, if you ever feel lonely, you can call me and we can always make plans together. We could see a movie or visit a spa. We could even go bowling, whatever you feel like doing. Who knows, you might even meet someone new on one of those outings. Well, that sounds wonderful. Thank you, Clara. Sure, no problem. Luckily, the authorities were able to recover almost all of Aunt Chelsea's money. Turns out Alex had been skimming at least three other women in order to afford a luxury lifestyle for himself and his dates. The last I heard of him, he'd been sentenced for fraud. Following her therapist's advice, my aunt decided to join some local social clubs in order to reduce her dependency on social media. She has yet to find love, but she's made at least a dozen new friends. According to her, sometimes that's all the companionship one needs. Jacob and I made sure to run background checks on each one of them, just in case. Anyway, I'm just glad to see her enjoying life once again.